Tell me a little bit about, you know, this this designation as a smart city and, and about Columbus as a home to unicorn startups. I mean, uh, you know, Columbus is known as the home to Ohio State University as the birthplace of I remember my Ohio history, the fast food chain Wendy's. Sure. But how did you how did you kind of foster uh, an entrepreneurial environment in, uh, in Columbus? Well, it's all rooted in the Columbus way, and we believe we do public-private partnerships better in Columbus than anywhere in America, and we think that's true for entrepreneurs and startups. Uh, we're very proud of the success of Root Insurance and Cover My Meds, and we believe there's a bright future for entrepreneurs in our city. You know, we're really focused on, uh, you know, affordability, mobility, and talent, uh, all things that are uh, key, key ingredients to making sure that startups and entrepreneurs are successful in Columbus. Uh, Kenny, I'm sure a lot of uh, developmental organization heads uh, are looking at the success of Columbus, you know, trying to figure out what you guys did to stimulate uh, an environment that was, uh, that was good for startups. You know, what, what are the lessons here other cities can take? Look, we've had a comprehensive strategy. We, we do our best to take care of the companies that already operate in our market. Um, we are trying to attract the world's best companies to our market from, our, uh, from around the globe. And uh, we believe that actually uh, those two things lead to also a great entrepreneurial environment. Our commercialization through our institutions and uh, other platforms that we have from the private sector is increasing every day. And it's a comprehensive long-term strategy to make it the best place in the country to do business and to scale a business. And Mayor Ginther, I mentioned that fact about Columbus exceeding other Midwestern city in EV sales. So yeah. talk a little bit about the vision for the public transportation network in Columbus. How do you incorporate uh, EVs and, and what would the impact be on congestion and transportation in the city? Well, Smart Columbus, uh, you know, has been absolutely critical to our success and the progress we're making before the uh, grant award. We lag behind Midwestern cities and since the award and uh, Smart Columbus being implemented, which is really a community-wide, it's not just a city project, but with the uh, award from DOT and, and Paul Allen's uh, philanthropies, uh, we've been able to, to build a movement in Central Ohio that has now put us ahead of other Midwestern cities uh, and uh, ahead of the nation with respect to electric vehicle adoption. But it really does take all of us raising awareness, working with dealers to make it easier uh, to purchase and access, and also building infrastructure with charging stations and other amenities. Uh, and our corporate leadership has stepped up in big ways, uh, both electrifying uh, uh, their fleets as well as investing in a smart grid uh, of the future. Mayor Ginther, Columbus was one of the finalists for Amazon's HQ2 process. You know, were you happy uh, with how, not only how the, that search was resolved, how it ended, but how Amazon conducted it? Absolutely. You know, Amazon uh, already knows the great place Central Ohio is to do business with thousands of employees already working uh, in the region. Uh, and they know that uh, Columbus has a bright future. We really believe through this process, uh, we have a great roadmap for economic development for our region over the next 20 years. And it really focuses on making sure we continue to leverage and, and uh, use our affordability, uh, enhance our mobility options, uh, but also really be aggressive about recruiting uh, and retaining talent in central Ohio. Uh, we believe that those three things are going to drive economic development in the future, uh, and we have to be aggressive and thoughtful and strategic about putting those things in place. Uh, uh, Kenny McDonald, well, let me ask you, uh, Mayor Ginther is obviously being very politically astute with that answer vis-a-vis -vis Amazon. Uh, you know, you, I'm sure you invested a lot of time and resources in, in the HQ2 process. You know, didn't work out that well. I remember uh, the Alphabet Division Sidewalk Labs also announced with some fanfare, you know, a process to, I, th I think, help uh, uh, help facilitate non-emergency transportation in the city of Columbus. You know, how do you feel after these two relationships about working with big tech companies when they do show interest in Columbus, Ohio? Oh, we're, um, uh, we consider Amazon an existing industry, a company that we work with uh, on a regular basis, even a weekly basis. And we thought the process did nothing but uh, uh, help us, uh, helped us uh, immediately actually refine our value proposition to all kinds of companies, uh, forced us to actually uh, think about scale in ways that we hadn't because of, you know, the size of the project. 
Um, and we are in touch uh, every week with the world's best technology companies, including some that are already operating within our region, uh, including AWS, Facebook, uh, Chase has their largest technology operation in our city. Um, uh, Nationwide Insurance is doing much of their technology out of the Columbus market. And how do we become a great employer um, in a great city uh, uh, for those companies and, and continue to scale? Tech is uh, uh, clearly our future and impacting every business model. Mayor Ginther, quick last question. Are you, are you happy with the time and effort that Alphabet Labs has devoted to, uh, to Ohio, after, to Columbus after last year's announcement? Absolutely. We are uh, very excited about the future, uh, both for startups, entrepreneurships, uh, technology of existing companies, emerging companies, and ones that we're going to welcome into the region over the next decade or two. Uh, they've been great partners to us. Uh, and as we look out here on the future, we think Columbus and Central Ohio's future is very bright.